Hi guys, I just got back from a trip to Barbados and it inspired me to do this pretty island princess. First, take some Krivlin Creamy Pearly White and apply that to the inner corner of your eyes and all over your eyelids and right underneath your eyes. Keep the area pretty small where you put it. Next, take Krivlin Creamy Bright Blue and apply that to the outer corner of your eyes, just a little bit above your eyebrow, but not too much and then round it out nicely along the corner of your eyes. You could flip your sponge over and blend those two colors together. Next, I took Krivlin Regular Teal and I just added that to the outer corners to help add some brightness. The Krivlin's Regular Teal is super bright and amazing and I pretty much use it whenever I can. Wipe away any excess paint Keep the background nice and small so that all the one stroke work can be done over the skin instead of over the paint. That way the colors will stay truer and brighter. I wanted the rainbow to be nice and bright so I chose neon cotton candy. And this works very well. Sometimes neon split cakes can be a bit tricky to work with because neons are just sheer in general across all paint brands but since it only has four colors in it, the colors don't get muddied. Just make sure to take your time and work it into a creamy consistency before attempting to use it. Next, on that same three quarter inch flat brush, I put white, regular white, regular pink, and then creamy uh, dark burgundy. And it's just the perfect combination for roses and flowers. And for the hibiscus flowers, as you can see, I'm really curving the petals to help it kind of fit to my face and give it more interest and make it look more dynamic. And I have the burgundy color on the outside and I'm leading with the burgundy color and pulling up. So I do a loop and then a second loop on the right side and the third loop on the left side. And the more you move your brush, the more texture will appear in each petal. To add even more contrast, I'm taking Krivlin Regular White and just adding a few lines of white into the center with the very center of the flower being the brightest. For the leaves, I'm gonna use one of my favorite split cakes, which is Reptile. And there's just so many uses for this. I love it, I use it at every single gig I go to, and it's a Lisa Joy Young exclusive. That's right. Tuck the leaves in wherever you have a space in the petals, and remember to keep working on the edge of your brush and wiggle it to get that good contrast in the colors of the split cake. For the stamen, I just used orange and yellow to highlight and then quickly added a few white dots for whatever those things are on the end of a stamen. I wanted the leaves to pop a little bit more so I just added black to a little bit of dark green and I'm flicking in like tiny teardrops around the edges of all of my leaves. And this adds texture and it also helps to find the leaves without having to outline them. And I did the same thing on the petals using the creamy dark burgundy color that was in the split cake. So this is a really nice alternative for um, helping one stroke flowers to really pop without trying to outline the whole thing in heavy black, which can completely take over a design if you're not careful. To fill in the rest of the spaces, I decided to do my little pink and white flowers. This is Krivlin regular white and then that creamy um, dark burgundy color and just add the flowers wherever there's empty spaces. Um, if you want, you could just do teardrops and not have these little flowers and that way the hibiscus flowers will really stand out and be the center point of the design. And to make it sparkle and look fancy, of course I have to add my little starbursts and the rhinestones. I used Krivlin body glue to apply the rhinestones. Just make sure to let it dry to a tacky finish before you press them on. And I wanted the eyes to pop out a little more, so I decided to take some dark blue eyeshadow and just apply it to the outer corner of the eyes. This is a super quick step, and I definitely recommend it if you're doing this design on a teenager or an adult. They'll appreciate the extra touch, and it'll really bring the whole thing together. 
And that's it. This design is fast and pretty and perfect for these hot summer days. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below, as well as all of the products I used in this video and where you can buy them. I'll see you soon again in another tutorial.